Where's the stock market headed? Up, down, or just plain sideways? Where are the best opportunities right now? Dave cuts through the fluff in a no-nonsense manner. Random Thoughts with Dave Landry Podcast. Here's your host, Dave Landry. This is your Random Thoughts Podcast for Friday, July 8, 2016. There are no good longer-term investments, and cash is not trash. Based on the interaction during Thursday's chart show, it seems that the waiting for trends is creating some performance anxiety out there. Cash is trash was one of the statements made. Relax, cash is not trash. That's a cutesy saying, but it simply isn't true. Things that rhyme are more likely to be believed, whether they are true or not. Exhibit A, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. It's okay to sit on your hands and cash. Sometimes return of capital is better than return on capital. There has to be somewhere that I could park my cash. Well, I'm not going to spend my time trying to chase a 0.000015% yield versus a 0.00001% yield. There's plenty out there doing that, and God bless them for their hard work. I'd rather focus my energies on the next big opportunities, which will hopefully return many times that amount. Having the cash ready to pounce when those opportunities present is a great position to be in. There are no good longer-term investments. The longer that I'm in this business, the more I realize that there are no good longer-term investments in spite of the diatribes of snake oil salesmen. Yes, something might have decent returns over a 50 to 80 year time horizon, but channeling Sweet Brown, ain't nobody got time for that. Further, what often happens in between is what kills you. Losing 50% to 80% of your investment can be demoralizing and devastating. Wait, Big Dave, what about the fact that stocks always go up longer term? Well, those metrics are based on an 81-year time horizon. Look no further than the past two bear markets. The S&P, peaked to trough, lost over half its value in 2000 and again in 2008. During the same time frames, the Nasdaq lost 78% and 55% respectively. What about gold? Well, from the peak in 1980, it lost over 80% of its value over the next 20 years. And in more recent times, assuming that December of 2015 is the bottom, it has lost 45% since the August 2011 peak. Real estate? Well, we all know what has happened here over the past several decades. Yes, I think everyone should own the roof over their heads for numerous reasons. But other than that, it's not a good longer-term investment. Longer-term versus trading case close. So that's my short-term case for trading versus investing. Now, trading doesn't mean that I'm like the little rat hitting the button frantically for cocaine. I was asked in an interview on Wednesday about the length of my holding period. My reply was, as always, at least 10 years, hopefully much longer. The reality, though, is that the money position management will take me out much sooner. I firmly believe that you could only predict the short term with any degree of accuracy, but you could follow trends forever. I'm slotted as a swing trader, probably based on the title of my first two books, but I will stay with trends as long as they move in my favor. I use a stop in case I'm dead wrong, take partial profits in case the move is only a short-lived one, and I use a trailing stop just in case the trend does last 10 years or longer. Read my recent article on money and position management to get up to speed here. Note, see today's column on the front page of my website for a link to that. To the markets. Based on early morning trading, today is Friday, 7 8, 16, by the way, the S&P has erased all of the Brexit slide. As mentioned in the weekly charts, if you must trade the news, then fade the news. You can look for an intraday reversal on the initial shock or wait until the market surpasses the pre-reaction close. Now, as also mentioned, I'm not suggesting that you rush out and trade these strategies. Rather, use them as a tool in your toolbox. Also, it makes for a great example of how in the long run, news is noise. This is not to say that news does not affect markets. It does. However, often the reaction is muted, short-lived, or quite often just the opposite of what it should be. Anyone remember Greece? C. Market slips on Greece. Seriously? LOL. Column. Obviously, if you're caught on the wrong side of a news event, you can't become the proverbial deer in the headlights. If reversal isn't imminent, then you have to honor your stops. As I preach ad nauseum, he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Longer term, the peas still remain sideways. You know the routine, though. Take things one day at a time. When a market is stuck going sideways longer term, you have to take a I'm from Missouri approach. Show me. If this truly is the beginnings of the mother of all new bull eggs, then the market should be able to make a new highs and stay there. 
The Rusty, IWM, and Quack, NASDAQ, still have quite a bit of work cut out for them. Both have lots of overhead supply to deal with. There's nothing magical about this technical term. It's simply an area where traders, or more accurately, investors, might be looking to get out of break even. It's human nature. In fact, all the technical analysis that I use, easy for me to say, is based on reading the emotions of others while at the same time embracing my own. So what do we do? As usual, take things one day at a time. Again, show me. Don't get too caught up in the zigs and zags. At the moment, it appears that the market will have to die another day. However, again, follow through will be key. Wait for a decisive breakout and then wait to see if it sticks. In the meantime, gold stocks could be setting up for a good trade. And who knows? Maybe if they follow through, they could turn into a good longer term investment. Winky, winky face. May the trend be with you, Dave Landry. I'm Dave Landry, and I approve this message. Resources. I learned this rhyme thing from a speech given by Tom McClellan at the American Association of Professional Technical Analysts meeting in New Orleans, Louisiana a few years ago. Titled, Sell in May and Go Away? Question mark. For the 81-year time horizon, the source is Greg Morris, Investing with the Trend. Want to learn more about trading? Visit DaveLandry.com for free reports, articles, videos, and live webinars. Got a question on trading? Email Dave at Dave at DaveLandry.com.